closest thing I have to a blue striped shirt. This is navy and it's striped, so it counts, I guess, kind of, sort of. We're gonna say it counts. <laughs> A lot of you have been asking me to talk about Dear Evan Hansen. So many people have been asking me and when you type John is Almost Famous into YouTube, one of the things that comes up is John is Almost Famous, Dear Evan Hansen, and I haven't done anything about it yet. So I am here today to deliver on all your Dear Evan Hansen wishes with the Dear Evan Hansen tag. Now I have to say somewhat embarrassingly that I only just listened to Dear Evan Hansen minutes ago. I know, I feel the shame, I'm like dug and up, I wear the coat of shame. I deserve it. I don't really know why it took me this long. It's been a long time. I only just listened to it today, which is just kind of unacceptable. So I hope you find it in your hearts to forgive me. I'm sorry about the wait. I'm sorry that I am so behind on the times. But I listened to it today. I just finished it. So the things that I say in this video are my very first initial thoughts. Like literally minutes ago, I finished listening to the whole cast album. So these are my fresh thoughts. Favorite song. My favorite song just from this first initial listen through is If I Could Tell Her. I thought that song was so precious and so so cute and so nice. I don't know, I just thought it was adorable and it really stood out to me. The only songs I knew going into this were Waving Through a Window and You'll Be Found. Or is it You Will Be Found? You'll Be Found? You Will Be Found? I don't know. But that song pleasantly surprised me. I really liked it. I want to listen to it again. It was so cute. Favorite character? I think I'm gonna say Evan. And a lot of people probably say Evan, and a lot of you out there are probably like, that is so generic, Jonna. But like, I don't know. I liked him. I don't know, I just feel for him. Because I feel like it wasn't like a happily ever after type of ending. It was more like a real ending. Not that happily ever after isn't real. But like, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying. I just really feel for him. And I feel for his storyline and his growth and stuff. So while it probably is generic to say that he is my favorite character, I'm just gonna stick with it and I'm just gonna say that he was slash is. Go to shower song. I think waving through a window is probably the one that most people would sing in the shower because it's just like a belted out power song. Especially at the end when it all builds and you're like, waving! Well, hopefully you're not singing it like that. <laughs> However you sing it is fine. The I Want songs are always the ones that you sing in the shower. That isn't always true, but I feel like it's mostly the case. Character that you would want to play. I guess Alana? Is that how you say her name? Is it Alana, Elena, Alana, Elena? I feel like I could handle that. <laughs> I don't think I could carry the weight of Evan or Zoe or Connor or Larry or Cynthia or Heidi or like anybody, but I could probably handle Alana. Probably, I say probably, but I probably couldn't. I don't know, but Alana. <laughs> Character you relate to most. I think I'm gonna say Alana again for this because there was one line, I think it was in disappear or something. I don't know, there was one line where she was like, we have to do this, people need to see this about the Connor Project. That is so me. I want to end the stigma. I want to fight the stigma around mental illness. I want to help people. I want to get the word out there. So just that line, that is me. <laughs> what song makes you cry the most? Disappear really stands out to me and words fail really stands out to me. But there were a lot of emotional songs. This show is emotional. <laughs> but those two really stood out to me and like made my heart feel things. I also think Requiem was really emotional. I feel like I can't say that word right. Requiem, Requiem, Requiem. <laughs> I feel like I can't say it right. Which character do you want to hug the most? That is such a hard question. There are so many characters that need a hug. I guess I'd say Connor or Evan. But I also feel like Heidi needs a hug, and Cynthia needs a hug, and Zoe needs a hug, and Larry needs a hug, and like everybody needs a hug, but I think Connor or Evan. Favorite line. There was one that I wrote down because I knew this question would be in the tag, and I wrote, no one should flicker out or have any doubt that it matters that they are here. I feel like that is such a powerful line. It's such an important line. It's such an emotional line. It just that one really stood out to me. There are a lot of good messages in the music. I definitely picked up on that. There were a lot of good messages. What major themes do you take away from the show? Okay, I don't know if this is like a theme or just 
something I feel, but this show reminded me a ton of Next to Normal because I feel like both of those shows started conversations or have the ability to start conversations because there is a stigma around mental illness. It's something that I can't stand. I hate it. And it's something we should be working towards erasing. And I feel like these shows prompt those conversations that need to be had. People connect with like creative things like TV shows, movies, shows, books, poetry, things like that. So I feel like when we see this in like mainstream media and such, it really helps progress the conversation and helps us move towards ending the stigma. That's not really a theme, but that's like what I took away from this. I don't know, I'm having trouble like pinpointing a theme because I feel like I'm still processing it because I just listened to it minutes ago and it, it's a lot to think about. So I don't know, I just feel like I can't like pinpoint that's a theme, there's the theme theme. <laughs> and this show is so popular. I hear about it all the time. I love Ben Platt. I feel like he has a really good platform right now and he uses his voice so well for so many important things. It's just good to see a musical with this specific theme and message being taken so seriously and being so beloved and like Am I making sense? <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like it's one of those musicals that's really important in starting an important conversation and like maybe inspiring kids that are in school to start something like The Connor Project. How cool would it be to see that taking place because of this show? So that is the Dear Evan Hansen tag and those are my very, very initial thoughts on the musical. They might change and grow as I listen to it more. Let me know what your favorite song is or your favorite character or something that you take away as the theme. I love you all. Stay beautiful, you people. Bye.